Hello Tombow friends, it's Allie LaPere here and today I'm going to show you how to make simple mosaic art based on Jack Witten's art using the ABT Pro alcohol based markers. Let's get started. For this project I used marker paper and my Tombow ABT Pro alcohol based markers. They come in 108 different colors. They come in various palettes and in these five packs. This is the pink tone five pack. That's the one I'm gonna be using in the demonstration today. Uh, they have several different versions of these five packs and they're great for this project. I also did a Google image search of Jack Witten's mosaics to draw inspiration from for the project. First, I'm gonna start with the marker in P757, that's the color. It's the darkest one from the pink tones five pack. And I'm just going to do some random little swatches, not very far into the um, into the card. I'd say like a third or a quarter of the way. You won't want to go past that. And basically, just try to make sure that the chisel tip doesn't touch any of the other spots you put ink in. So nice little white space between each little rectangle. And they can vary in size. They don't have to be very big at all and they can be bigger. I mean, it's, it's up to you. Making them more random is going to help it look more like a mosaic. So keep that in mind. Another thing is that I have a piece of paper underneath because it's going to, you know, go off the edges. Okay, so moving on to the next color, the P755. This is the next darkest color in the Pink Tone 5 pack. And I just do the same thing. Again, varying the length. I want it to go a little bit further. I keep just putting down ink until the whole space is filled. Now it's easier to work in rows when you're doing this kind of art, but I'll show examples later of ones where the lines are a little curved. Uh, one, one of these cards I did has like a circle pattern. Uh, doing curves is a little more challenging, but you know, if you're, if you're able to do the rows, then it won't be long until you're able to do more complex patterns. Okay, moving on to the next color, that's the P743. You can see just how easy it is to fill up a space with these markers. I mean, the chisel tip, it's not a, um, it's not something that I thought I'd get a whole lot of use out of because I'm more of like the brush tip kind of gal, but these definitely, definitely serve a purpose. Whether you're coloring in like big areas, it's a little bit easier to do it with the chisel tip and you aren't going to be putting as much uh, stress on the brush tip if you color in big areas with the chisel tip. Okay, moving on to the last color, the P703. It just goes the rest of the way off of the card. Again, making sure that you vary the length of the little rectangles that you're putting down. Super, super easy. Only takes a couple minutes. You have a cool little background. Voila! Like I said, 
There are lots of different versions of these five tone packs. Come in the orange tones, come in the yellow tones, green tones, blue tones, and purple tones. They also come in red and gray tones, as well as a few different skin tone variations. You can use this technique for card making. You can use it just for general art. You can use it in your art journals. Basically, the possibilities are endless. All you have to do is pick up the marker and start. Thanks for dropping by our tutorial today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Hit the notification bell and subscribe if you wanna see any more of these projects. We'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.